Hello. We are excited and honored to be a part of the Early Childhood Voices 2022 conference. My name is Hatun Zengen Bolak Kale, and I am an assistant professor at California State University of Fresno in the US. Um, I am excited to present to you our study titled Preliminary Investigation of the Role of Hot and Cool Executive Function Skills in Developmental Stuttering. This study is a collaboration between California State University in the U.S. and Istanbul Medipol University in Istanbul, Turkey. In this project, Dr. Sartan Özdemir and uh, I um, have overseen data collection and analysis processes, and we advised our graduate students, Burcu Akçay, Merve Aksoy, and Esra Kaimish, um, during uh, this project. And um, each of uh, our graduate students are also practicing SLTs in Turkey. We do not have any financial or non-financial conflicting interests that are associated with this study. Developmental stuttering has a prevalence of approximately 1% in the general population and it has significant negative impacts in children's social, emotional, and educational development. The onset of stuttering is between uh, 24 to 60 months of age, and current theoretical models and empirical evidence propose multifactorial causes for the onset and the development of stuttering. And these involve neural networks underlying uh, linguistic, motor, cognitive, and emotional processes. Uh, for example, um, empirical studies reported that children who stutter relative to typically fluent children uh, exhibit greater difficulty with inhibitory control, um, greater difficulty with cognitive flexibility, and greater physiological and cortical emotional reactivity and lower emotional and attentional regulation skills. Regarding executive function skills, executive function processes are heavily involved in uh, many speech and language processes. And there is growing evidence regarding the role of executive function skills in developmental stuttering. Uh, to date, most studies assessed cool executive function skills. Um, and cool executive function skills refer to non-affective, low motivation, low stakes tasks. So um, such as the Stroop task, dimensional card sorting task, or memory tasks. In contrast, hot executive function processes refer to these top-down control processes used in motivationally and emotionally significant high-stakes situations. Um, a good example would be the marshmallow test um, or a delay of gratification tasks, Iowa gambling task. These are um, hot executive function tasks. Um, Essentially, hot executive function processes are tapping into an interaction between cognition and emotion. Uh, and this is very relevant for stuttering because individuals who stutter tend to stutter even more during high stakes speaking tasks, such as the one shown in this uh, drawing. So ordering food when especially there is a line is a high stakes sp speaking situation and people who stutter um, tend to stutter even more in these situations. In this study, we aim to contribute to the growing literature by investigating if there were any differences between children who stutter and children who do not stutter regarding their hot executive function skills as measured by their performance during children's gambling task. And uh, we also wanted to find out if there were any group differences in cool executive function skills as measured by caregiver reports. Uh, we also asked if um, children who stutter is hot and cool executive function skills related to their stuttering severity. And lastly, um, we 
asked if there was a relation between children's executive function skills and their temperament. In this study, participants were all monolingual Turkish speakers between three to six years of age. And uh, we acquired data from 25 children who stutter and 25 children who do not stutter. These children had no other speech or language disorders or developmental disorders other than stuttering. Uh, all children com completed um, hot executive function task, which was um, children's gambling task. And here we can see one of our graduate students, Esra Kaimish, administering uh, children's gambling task. Uh, regarding cool executive function skills, uh, caregivers filled out childhood executive functioning inventory, CHECSI, and uh, they also filled out children's behavior questionnaire, CBQ. Uh, for stuttering severity, we use stuttering severity instrument four, the Turkish uh, adaptation of this test, and we also use children's behavior questionnaire, the Turkish translation for temperament. Here are the findings of our research questions. Regarding hot executive function skills, we did not find any significant differences between children who stutter and children who do not stutter during their performance, um, performance as they played um, children's gambling task. For cool executive function skills, uh, no significant differences were found between children who stutter and children who do not stutter. Uh, on CHECSI, working memory, planning, um, regulation, and inhibition subscales. We also did not find any significant differences between children who do and do not stutter in negative affectivity, surgency, and effortful control dimensions, and attention-focusing impulsivity and inhibitory control subscales on the CBQ. Um, for our third research question, the relation between children who stutter is stuttering severity and their executive function skills. For hot executive function skills, we did not find a significant correlation between children who stutter's performance on um, children's gambling task and their stuttering severity on SSI-4. For cool executive function skills, we found that there was a significant, cor significant correlation between children who stutter surgency score on the CBQ and their stuttering severity. So specifically, children with higher surgency scores, so surgency here refers to high levels of positive affectivity, um, these children have lower stuttering severity scores. And there was a significant correlation between stuttering severity and regulation uh, uh, subtest on, so regulation scores on CHECSI. Children who stutter with lower regulation skills had higher stuttering severity scores. And um, we also found that children who stutter with poor inhibitory control skills as measured by CHECSI um, had higher stuttering severity scores. Here are the scatter plots for these findings. As you can see here, uh, children who stutter with greater surgency scores had lower um, stuttering severity scores as well. And um, children who stutter with lower regulation skills had higher stuttering severity scores. And children who stutter with poor inhibitor control skills had higher stuttering severity scores. Regarding our last research question, the relation between temperament and executive function skills, we did not find a significant correlation between hot executive function skills and temperament. Um, but we found uh, regarding cool executive function skills that 
children with greater positive affectivity, so greater surgency scores, had poor inhibition scores on Chexi. And children with greater effortful control, um, greater effortful control had also higher planning scores on Chexi. And children with greater negative affectivity temperamental profile had low, lower regulation scores on Chexi. So in conclusion, in this study, we found that children who stutter and their typically fluent peers appear to have similarities in the affective and non-affective dimensions of their executive function skills. And uh, children who stutter, so those children who stutter with greater positive affectivity temperament profile, they exhibit a lower stuttering severity. And children who stutters, cool executive function skills were associated with stuttering severity too. So children who stutter with poor regulation skills um, and poor inhibition skills showed greater stuttering severity. And children's temperament was also associated with their cool executive function skills. So high positive affectivity and high negative affectivity temperaments were both associated with poor inhibition and regulation skills, respectively. As for the clinical implications, our findings suggest that children who stutters temperament, especially, you know, surgency, so that positive affectivity temperament profile is associated with lower stuttering severity. So um, clinicians can um, use therapeutic activities supporting resiliency skills, supporting overall self-esteem and confidence. And these activities um, supporting these skills might help lower stuttering severity, or um, they may prevent stuttering from getting exacerbated. Regarding um, cool executive function skills, we found a significant correlation between cool executive function skills um, that you know, strong regulation skills, strong inhibition skills were associated with lower stuttering severity. So um, clinicians can um, use therapy activities that are directed towards increasing children who stutter's overall self-regulation skills and their inhibitory control skills. Um, these may help lower stuttering or uh, they may help um, prevent stuttering from getting exacerbated. Uh, for caregivers, our uh, findings show that uh, caregivers can support children who stutter by supporting their overall confidence, their self-esteem, and their resilience. And um, they can play games or they can do role-playing at home that can support overall self-regulation and inhibition as well. So for regulation, for example, talking about feelings uh, or role-playing, challenging emotional situations, um, even cooking together um, can be really helpful as, you know, children are waiting for instructions and then they're waiting for the food to be ready. Uh, these could all support regulation skills for inhibition um, games such as freeze dance, red light, green light, um, ring around the rosy, Simon says, or turn taking games can all support children's uh, inhibition skills as well. Here are the references um, that are used in these slides. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email at hatoon at csufresno.edu, or you can get in touch with me on Twitter um, via my Twitter handle. Thank you for this great opportunity.